Hey, how's it going? Uh, okay, so I'm going to do a video um, on the intro first um, for Unholy Confessions by Avenged Sevenfold. Um, I've seen some other video lessons on there, and uh, I'm just going to show you my version. Um, this is the way I like to uh, figure it out. Um, so anyways, uh, we're going to start off. The song is in the key of D minor, so that's actually kind of something important to know just because um, the riff totally goes over the whole scale. So um, without getting too deep into theory, the D minor pattern, um, here's my D note on the A string, fifth fret. So this is a minor pattern. It's a, um, a one octave pattern that you can play anywhere on the A string and anywhere on the E string with the root note. Okay, so we're in D right now. <laughs> So I'm using finger numbers. Now it's a four fret spread this scale, um, and it'll be a four fret spread anywhere you play it. Um, and you'll always play with these finger positions. So I'm starting with my first finger on the root note on that D there. So the pattern's gonna go one, three, four. Then you're gonna drop a string, one, three, four. So that was on the G string. Sorry, on the D string. Now we're gonna drop down the G string and play a one, three. Those are the finger numbers. So one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three. Now when we get into the harmony section in the song later on, you're going to want to know that a scale is identified by note name and by number in the scale. First note, second note, third note, fourth note, fifth note, sixth note, seventh note, back to octave, eighth note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This might be really boring to you, you may think it has nothing to do with the song, but um, seriously, this is really going to help you a lot. So now let's look at the no note names that we're using. So we got D, then we go a whole step up to E, then a half step up to F, then we drop down to the next note, there's a G, now we're back to A. Now we can't say A sharp because you can't have two of the same guys in the club. You got to have separate. One guy's got one note needs to be represented. So instead of A sharp, we're gonna say B flat. Okay. So just to recap: D, E, F, G, A, B flat. Okay. So after that, we go to C, and now bang. Back to D. play that anywhere. Here's a C minor scale. Here's an F minor scale. Okay, anyways, let's get to the song, because that's what we're looking at this for, right? Okay, so we're in drop D tuning. Okay, so hence D minor. Anyhow, so um, the song's going to start off with two opens, right? So I'm hitting the first three notes in my scale. I'm hitting a D, an E, and an F. Now, I've seen people play it a few different ways, and honestly, this is the way that I believe it's played. One of my students brought this song. He wanted to learn it so because um, he really liked the riff in it. It's an awesome riff. Anyways, we sat down and we figured it out. Uh, I like to slow down stuff and listen to it. You can look at one of my videos on how to slow your songs down. Anyways, so the song revolves around the scale. Here's the riff. Now I drop down into C. Now it's a lower octave C than the one where we actually started in the key. It's still a C. It still belongs to the club. Okay, so there's the C that it drops down to. But we're going to be grabbing it up here because it's easier. But anyways, here's the riff. Okay, but we're going to play it like this. Oh, sorry. Now you're like, there's opens in between everything. I know there's opens. I'm going to show you the opens now. This is the way that I like to play it. Maybe you'll like to play it this way too. pulling on my open A string, okay?
Okay, so I'm going up my scale. And then back down, okay? Now it's important that we were using our second finger here because we got a hammer on and a pull off. So we got two open. Now we're setting the tone. We got our D's going, right? So I'm going to this C, which has actually been moved up two frets because it's in drop D, so we got to compensate, right? So anyways, you're going to find it on the 10th fret on your E string. That's what you want to know. So there it is. So we got it. Okay, in my opinion, that sounds pretty damn good. Anyways, let's go to the second half. So we got... Okay, now I just drop down to my 8th fret, palm muted twice. So you're going to hit your first two notes, palm muted, and then you're going to kind of sort of mute those A's. But you want to still hear them, but you want to go full open on the notes that you're actually hitting. So you want to kind of mute them just to keep it clean, otherwise you're going to have like... Okay, so but it's a really clean riff. Anyway, so after that first half... We're going to go over to the 8th fret. So now we're ascending. That's right. That's right. Uh, we're ascending in our scale. So we're playing it up here. So we're, all, we're playing the scale linearly, it's called, like in one line on one string. Anyways, so we got um, palm muted those two notes. Okay, so you got those three pull offs. Then you're gonna drop to the seventh fret, palm mute those two on the E string. Then we're gonna hit the seventh fret on the A string. And up, and then we're gonna land back on this C. Okay, so the second half goes like this eighth fret, E string twice. Grab the tenth fret, which is a G. Grab that with your third finger. Hit it, pull it to the open A, come down, this is the F. You're going to hit that with your second finger, pull it, and then land on the E. So we got it. Okay, and then we're going to grab the 7th fret on the E string twice, palm muted. Then we're going to drop down the E, which is the 7th fret on the A, hit it, pull it. Then up to the 8th fret, hit it, pull it, and then land back on that C. Okay, and then we got an ending, so we're going to just go on the 8th fret and the 7th fret. Alright, I hope that helps. I'm going to be making more videos on it. Jimmy, thanks for uh, recommending the song. It's a great song. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or um, send a message on Facebook or um, post something on YouTube. And please rate and comment if you like. Uh, anyways, that's it. I'll play it a few more times as we go out here.